guys, what's up? Tonight I'm going to show you guys how I transfer independently as a C5, C6 quadriplegic. So fortunately I've got a split king adjustable bed which is super helpful. It goes up and down so it's really convenient for transferring from this chair or my manual chair. Um, helps me level out the, the bed and where I transfer to so it's super nice. But um, step one, I've got this, I don't know if y'all can see it, I've got this thigh plate on my chair, so I'm going to remove this real quick. Always takes me forever, so actually not, not real quick. There we go. That's probably the hardest part. So for me personally, I'm still using a slotting board. I know um, a lot of paraplegics and quadriplegics kind of step away from it once they get used to doing it without it, but super helpful for me still. And um, still in the process of learning car transfers. So I'm gonna be taking my board and doing it there as well. Of course, your toes. And we're back. Sorry about that. <laughs> Accidental toe crunch. It happens. It happens. All right. So next step here, I'm going to line up with the bed. Let's see. It still looks a little bit high, so I'm going to lower it a little bit more with the remote. Unfortunately, I'm a little dressed up today wearing some khaki shorts, which makes it so much more difficult to transfer, but we'll see if we can manage. So for me as well, as a slotting board, I also use these gloves. They're called Gloves for Life. They've kind of got like a, like a sticky side to them, so they really help me grip the bed sheets. And for me, transferring just gave me a lot of wrist pain. So just using these allows me to put, um, it allows me to distribute the weight on a different part of my wrist, which is super helpful for my wrist pain as well as just getting the extra grip, which helps, helps me transfer. All right. You can, you can move the video closer. Okay. The camera closer. That way I can show how I get the board under. All right. Let's see, still a little bit too tall. My chair is also fancy and goes up and down. Super helpful as well. All right, here we go. So before I place the board, I'm gonna move my bag over. Let's see here. All right. And actually, I'm gonna see if I can feel a spasm. Let's see if I can shake it out a little bit. All right. So I like, so I use ADI sliding boards. They have like this kind of like, it's kind of like uh, the grip they use on skateboards on the bottom, which really helps it stick under your butt, which is super helpful. So I like to place that side under my butt when I start. And I just kind of wiggle it in here. And for me, what really helped my transfers is not so much just trying to power through them, but slowing down and thinking about the technique really. And um, making sure that I'm properly leaning and getting way off the opposite side of my hip. So I'm gonna to lean to my right here, so that takes way off of this hip, and that way I can push. And so I've got a pretty bad habit of being a butt pusher, that's what they call me. So um, it's kind of like a bad lazy habit. Give me a spot you right now. No, I'm good. Oh, there's a little stab. But I just kind of slide down my board almost. There we go. And I just kind of wiggle my way through it. Bag fell, that's all right. 
And then for me, so I end up pretty low on the bed. Um, so I kind of like to lean this way and scoop myself up as best I can. And it looks like my bag dropped. So that's no fun. Let's see if I can get this while keeping my balance. Yep, all right. So here's the fun part. Fortunately, maybe unfortunately, my legs have retained a decent amount of meat on them, so they are super heavy, which makes it really tough to lift up. But let's see if I can get it here. It looks like my foot is actually stuck on the foot plate. Let's see if I can push it out to the side here. There we go. All right. Pop that up there. Let's move this over a little bit. All right, and then once I get here, I can just grab this with my other arm. And as I pull it up, I can just kind of take it and lean back. And we have a little bit of a spasm, pulls me over. And there we go. If I can just get the leg straightened out. No, just spasms. But yeah, that's pretty much how I do it. Do you want to show them the turn? Oh, there we go. Ow. Live action of the spasm steals with every day. Kind of feels good, honestly. <laughs> All right. And so since I've parked my power chair right next to my bed, that's where I keep it when I sleep. That way I can turn in the middle of the night by myself as well as on this other side, I don't know if y'all can see, I've got this, it's a posy strap that I've got hooked underneath the bed around a rail. So it's super, super sturdy. <laughs> and I can roll this way. And that completely gets me off my butt. I can use it so, to pull myself over. Yeah, we also, um, let me get your hat on. Thanks. All right, we also hang his uh, catheter bag off the side. The bed we got didn't have um, a good place to hang it. So we actually got a little bedside caddy and that works for us since that's a little pro tip that we've had to um, figure out the hard way. So, <laughs> all right, which way do you want to show them your turn? I guess I will turn it this way. Okay. So what I do is just hook on my chair and just roll this way. One second. Well, typically what we do is put a pillow between here um, just to keep his knees from like hitting right on top of each other. It also helps with like pressure sores, that kind of thing. And then whenever we turn, we prop him up with a wedge like this. It has a little strap on it where he can, in the middle of the night, he can grab it out himself and replace it. Um, but this goes here just like that. And it just keeps him off his bed at night, so that way he doesn't get the pressure sores. So, if you want to show him, be able to turn with this one. All right, so. <laughs> this is what Connor's independent one. Middle of the night, roll over using my chair, pop that out, put my hand in the strap so I can pick it up, fall on my back, set this over here, and then I will grab on to this strap and roll myself over. And I've got to go back and grab that and shove it under as best I can. There we go. That's the job. And that's how I do it. Yeah. Oh, do you have anything else you're wanting to show? That's all. I'm cool. ready for sleep. I you know. Wanna... Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching. Yep. Thank you.